Hi, I'm Tony Northrup, and for chapter two of my book, Stunning Digital Photography, I'm going to show you how to control your background. The background is one of the most critical parts of composition. People often focus on a subject and find a good focal point, but then have a background that's cluttered or distracting. For this exercise, I'm going to have Chelsea stand in this spot and not move from it. I am then going to show you all the different backgrounds that I can choose from. So first I'll do what many people do, which is to take a shot as I'm standing here. As you can see, it's not a bad shot, but the background is fairly uninteresting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move in 360 degrees around Chelsea. She'll rotate to fa face me, but she won't move from that spot. Wherever you are, you always have 360 degrees of background to choose from if you can move. So you have a lot of different options just by walking around your subject. The second way you can control it is by moving up or down. Now, you don't necessarily need a ladder or anything, you can just crouch down to get the sky as your background or lift your camera up to get the ground as your background. Just by raising the camera up and down, I was able to pick between a completely blue sky background, uh, the green grass, or a background that shows the horizon. The third way you can control the background is by zooming in and out. Uh, you don't necessarily need to make your model bigger in the photo when you zoom in because you can also step back. So to demonstrate this, I will step forward and away from Chelsea, but I will keep her about the same size in the frame and it will show you how changing the perspective adjusts the background. So that's what it looks like when I'm standing fairly close to Chelsea and I'm zoomed way back. Now if I step back and zoom in, you'll see a completely different effect. So in this photo you can see less of the background. That's at about 100 millimeters. If I step back even farther and zoom into 200 millimeters, you'll see the background becomes very narrow and becomes more blurred. So if you as the photographer can move around, those are three things you can do to control the background. Move around your subject 360 degrees, move up and down, or step forward and back while zooming in and out. If neither of you can move, maybe you're in a crowded area or say a zoo, what you can do is adjust the aperture to change the depth of field. Now, as you'll learn in the book, choosing a lower f-stop number decreases the background sharpness. A higher f-stop number increases the background sharpness. Now, I'll show you how that can change the effect of a picture. As you can see at f4, a low f-stop number, the background is very blurred. Here at f22, a higher f-stop number, the background is much sharper. There's one last thing you can do to control your background without moving yourself or the subject, and that's by using flash. Normally, your camera will expose the foreground, and the background will be at about the same exposure because the same light will be falling on your foreground and the background. But if you turn your flash up, that will add light to the foreground and the background in comparison will seem much darker. Now, it's a little bit hard to do that with sunlight, but if you have a powerful flash, you can still do it. So first, I'll take a shot with no flash at all. As you can see here, the background and the foreground have about the same exposure. Next, I'll turn the flash on and turn it all the way up so it puts out as much light as possible. As you can see, by properly exposing the foreground, the background in comparison became much darker. This is for chapter two of my book, Stunning Digital Photography, which covers composition. If you like this video, the ebook includes many more videos like this. If you want to see new videos as I release them, click subscribe up above. And if you liked it, please click like down below. If you have any questions or comments, you can send me an email. My email address is tony at northup.org or you can look up Tony Northrop Photography on Facebook. Thank you.